So there was a clone out there that you guys have been talking about for quite a long time, and I actually don't know what it's actually cloning. Um, and especially after I've now worn it like five or six times, I still have no idea exactly what it's cloning because it kind of just smells like its own thing. Um, but anyway, it doesn't surprise me because the other one that I tried from this line, uh, Sublime, it doesn't really smell like much either outside of like a little bit of Kaali's apple. But today we're going to be doing my full review on a fragrance that was sent to me by Eddie. So thank you, Eddie. This is Latafa's Bade Al Oud Honor and Glory. So without further ado, let's get it. <music> What's good, my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys for joining me for yet another full review video here. So as you guys have, if you've been following along on my channel, you know that I have been kind of cutting back on my spending because I'm going on vacation in a few days. Well, I know that you guys really want, this is a highly touted fragrance. A lot of you guys wanted me to try it. I have nothing against clones. I just don't pick them up unless you guys like go crazy with one. And this was one of them, and it just so happens, if you've been following my channel, you know Eddie sends me a lot of decants to try. And this time, so thank you to Eddie, he sent me the one we're going to be reviewing today. I have now worn it four times. It is Latafa's Bade Al Oud Honor and Glory. I have the bottle of Bade Al Oud Sublime. It's in my daughter's room. She really loves that fragrance, so I let her use that more. But it's one of the best clones out there. It's supposed to be a clone of Kaali's apple. It's like Eden apple or something. It kind of smells like that if you mix it together with Kool-Aid. Um, fantastic fragrance. And then this one, I heard some things about it, but um, my mind kind of changed and waned as I wore it as to what it kind of reminded me of. And I still to this day don't know what it's a clone of. In the opening, I would have said it was kind of like a clone of Yellow Dream if you mix it together with, hot, with like Hachivat and like pieces of Latafa Hamra. As it gets to the dry down, it's completely like different. And so I never actually knew what this is cloning. If somebody can tell me what this is actually cloning, I have no idea. So anyway, I just sprayed it on my hand to remind myself, but I've worn it already so I can give you guys the full information. If you're new to my channel and you like my content, obviously give your brother some love slap up some subscribe and like button comment below let me know if you've tried this fragrance what you think about it and i'll give you the note breakdown just so you can follow along with me the top notes are pineapple and creme brulee which is interesting mid notes are cinnamon benzoin turmeric and black pepper and the base notes are vanilla cashmere and sandalwood and moss uh that's interesting i actually wrote these down and i didn't even pay attention to what i was writing but um, cause there's moss in it and then there's also turmeric in it, which makes complete sense cause there's a fragrance that had turmeric in it last year, Lacoste Blanc Eau Intense, that this kind of has that turmeric, same, very same turmeric. And the moss has that kind of Hachivat feeling, but I get that more in the opening. Anyway, so here in the opening, it reminds me of kind of like Valentino's Yellow Dream, where it's almost like this kind of spicy pineapple upside down cake you get a wallop of pineapple in the opening so what people were saying was that it was a pineapple upside down cake and i can understand that it has this kind of like ambery vanilla tones it has some of this spice in there a little bit of like the cinnamon mixture that piles on top with a nice pineapple on top kind of reminds me of the pineapple from uh yellow dream but also at times it reminds me of the pineapple from um kaid alferson that kind of like grilled pineapple fragrance. It reminds me of just the pineapple from that, not the actual fragrance, but uh, at, at times it reminds me of that, which pineapple upside down cake is kind of just like pineapple underneath a cake. And then you flip it over. Um, but anyway, so when you first spray it on, it smells like a pineapple upside down cake, some spices, stuff like that. What people didn't tell me is that after 30 minutes, it's like the pineapple kind of just wanes away. And so it's a pineapple upside down cake, yes, but it's like that for like 30 minutes. Um, it starts to get a little bit more spicy. The turmeric starts to pull forward and it legit gets like this sharp 
and the turmeric is kind of like in the same ginger family, just a little bit sharper. And this has this kind of sharp gingery tone along with a little bit of this fizzy cashmere in that pops in. Um, the pineapple stays there again for about 30 minutes or so, and then you start to get almost this kind of powdery tone that starts to creep into the fragrance, which is coming from this kind of like vanilla ambery mix. Um, I gotta, I have to say, uh, Honor and Glory, I like it. I don't get me wrong, I do like it, but. I love Sublime, and I was really, I had my sights set on, this was going to be amazing, Sublime was amazing, so obviously this had to be, and I have to say the opening of this is fantastic, it's phenomenal, I would give like the opening like a 9, but as it starts to dry, it just doesn't do anything for me, it kind of has this Play-Doh-y smell. Um, I'm not sure what that's actually coming from, you guys, it's just like this powdery vanilla mixed together with some of that turmeric. I, I'm not sure exactly what it's doing, but um, it's like, I like the fragrance that's on top of it. And I don't at any point in time dislike this fragrance. I think the lowest that it gets is like a seven to a 7.5. But to me, after the first like 25 to 30 minutes, it kind of starts to get this Play-Doh-y smell. And it, that Play-Doh-y smell for, for me at least is there for about an hour. Um, and then once you get further and further and further into the dry down, the vanilla and sandalwood start to calm down and rest together with a little bit of this spiciness. And then you almost get like a touch of the pineapple underneath it, but it's like this Play-Doh-y smell in the middle. It's this like turmeric along with like black pepper and that vanilla coming in and the vanilla, the way that it mixes together, it just... And again, it never smells bad. It just has a Play-Doh-y smell to me. I, I don't know what that is. Um, I've had that before with another Latafa, so maybe it's just the type of vanilla or something that Latafa uses that comes off very Play-Doh-y to me. Um, with that said, Honor and Glory, I know a lot of people are going to like that. And I know a lot of people are going to sh probably shit on me for saying that it smells like Play-Doh for like a half hour to an hour. But it's just what I get. Um, would I buy the bottle of it? No, I won't. Um, it's not something that I would wear. I would rather wear Yellow Dream. I would re yellow, uh, rather wear Kaed Alfersand. Um, those kind of are in the same realm. Because Yellow Dream, is that's where I kind of get the main comparison. Because you have that pineapple. You have that cinnamon. A little bit of this unique gingerbread spice. As you get to the dry down, you get the vanilla. You get the sandalwood. It's like... The notes in this are almost exactly the same outside of turmeric and moss. There's even the cashmere note in the uh, Valentino Yellow Dream that kind of comes off like this. The creme brulee is in here as well. Um, and so, again, opening 30 minutes, great. Then there's like a 30 minute to an hour period that I just don't know if I like. It's still average. It kind of has this Play-Doh-y smell in the background for me. And then it gets back to pretty nice, like an 8.5 or so. Uh, so the fragrance overall, I actually kind of like it. It's just there's this weird Play-Doh-y smell in the mid that I'm not quite sure I enjoy. I'll have to get a few more wears on it. I still have about half a decant. Um, but let me know what you guys think. As far as the performance on this, I got about seven hours. Um, after about four hours, it was almost non-existent. So um, it was kind of just like sitting down on my skin. Um, the sublime in that fact was pretty much the same. It was around six to seven hours. Nothing crazy as far as performance, but I'm not a stickler for performance. I only care about really the sillage in both of these fragrances, the sublime and the honor and glory. You have about a four foot sillage for about an hour and a half, and then it kind of starts to wane to your skin to become more of a personal bubble for the next two. And then it's kind of just more of like a uh, skin scent after that. Uh, I think it's pretty good. It's a good fragrance. It's uh, so I see what people are saying. It's just there's a weird Play-Doh-y smell for me at one point in time in the fragrance where that kind of vanilla meets the cashmere and I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, but I do like the fragrance as a whole. Even the Play-Doh-y smell doesn't smell bad. It still smells pretty decent. Um, but yeah, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a review for um, Virgin Island Water by Creed because I am going on vacation. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance. And again, I'll be back with another one. Peace out.